hello guys in this video i'm going to show you how to install and run the latest version of kali linux version 2023.2 on virtualbox for those that don't know virtualbox virtualbox is a tool that allows you to run multiple operating systems on your host computer so you can see i have mac os ventura on my virtualbox i have manjaro and parrot os so you can run multiple operating systems on your host computer now the first thing we have to do is download and install virtualbox and to do that open your chrome browser and then search for VirtualBox. So you can see the first page over here, Oracle VM VirtualBox. Click on it. And by the left, click on Downloads. Now you can see VirtualBox for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. We are installing VirtualBox for Windows, so click on Windows host and it should start downloading. Now, after downloading VirtualBox, you also have to download VirtualBox Extension Pack. So, click on All Supported Platform under VirtualBox Extension Pack and it should download as well. I already have this downloaded, so I'm just going to cancel it. Now, after downloading VirtualBox and VirtualBox Extension Pack, we also need to download Kali Linux, which we are going to use for this installation. So, let's head to Kali.org. So, once you head to Kali.org, click on the download button on the screen here and it will take you down here. Now, we can install Kali Linux in VirtualBox using two different methods. You can install using the installer image or using virtual machines. Now, if you just want to get Kali Linux up and running as fast as possible and you want to go with all the default settings, then you can go with virtual machines. But if you want to install it manually and customize everything, set it yourself, then you can go with the installer images. Now in this video, I'm going to show a method to install Kali Linux using the virtual machines and also using the installer image so you can pick whichever option you want. So the virtual machines is to get Kali Linux up and running immediately while the installer image is to set up Kali Linux, customize it the way you want. So first, let's start with virtual machines. So click on virtual machines and it will take you down here. Now you can see Kali Linux for virtual box. Click on it and it should start downloading. I already have this file downloaded, so I'm just going to cancel it. So we can close our browser and then open our download folder. So we can see this is VirtualBox, this is VirtualBox extension pack. And this is a Kali Linux for VirtualBox, which is a pre-built virtual image. So we have to first install VirtualBox by double clicking on it. And then follow the prompt to install. I already have this installed, so I'm going to cancel this. But you just have to proceed with it and you should have VirtualBox installed. Now, after installing VirtualBox, you also have to install the extension pack. So to install the extension pack, all you do is double click on the extension pack after installing VirtualBox. And it should add to VirtualBox. So you just click on install, scroll down, and then I agree to the terms and it should install VirtualBox extension pack. Now it has been successfully installed. To confirm, you can click on this two icon over here and then go to extensions and you can see VirtualBox extension pack installed. Now we can go back to our welcome page. After doing that, we have to extract Kali Linux VirtualBox pre-built image we downloaded. This is a 7-zip file. So you can extract this file using WinRAR or any other file extractor. So I'm just going to right click and then use WinRAR to extract the files. OK, and it should extract. And the file has been extracted. Now you can see a new folder called Kali Linux 2023.2 VirtualBox AMD64. So click on it, open it, and then open this folder inside here. Now there are two files here. We can see the virtual disk image, and then we can see VirtualBox machine definition. Now, double click on VirtualBox machine definition and it should load up Kali Linux in our VirtualBox. So, we just double click on this. And you can see Kali Linux 2023.2 has been automatically added to our VirtualBox. Now, we can customize it before we start our machine. So, click on settings and then go to system. Increase the base memory, which is the RAM. Now, you should allocate more than 40% of your RAM to your virtual machine else it will slow down your host computer. So I have 16 gigabytes of RAM on my host computer 
and I'm going to give VirtualBox about 5 gig of RAM and that should be okay. Click on the processor section and also allocate how much CPU cores you want, not more than 40% as well. Now go to display and increase the video memory to 128 megabytes. Also enable 3D acceleration and then click OK. Now we can start our Kali Linux machine. So click on start and you should have it running. And you can see Kali Linux has been successfully installed on our virtual box. Now the default username is Kali and the password is Kali as well. We can also adjust the display and it should move up. Now if you want to view it full screen, we can click on view and then go to full screen mode, switch. So basically this is how to install Kali Linux version 2023.2 using the pre-built virtual machine. Now we can shut down our machine. So now I'm going to show you how to also install Kali Linux using the installer image and then customize everything from scratch. So basically you're installing it yourself and making changes as you desire. So let's head back to Kali.org. Now this time instead of clicking on virtual machines, we're going to click on installer image and it will take you down here and you can see Kali Linux version 2023.2. Now this is the installer which we want to download. This is complete offline installation with customization. So once you click on it, it should start downloading. The file size is about 3.6 GB. So make sure you have a stable internet connection. Now I already have this file downloaded, so I'm just going to cancel it. Now let's close our browser. Now head to your download folder. And you can see over here, this is our Kali Linux installer image file, which we downloaded just now. So let's open VirtualBox and create a new virtual machine. So let's click on new over here on VirtualBox. And then let's call this machine Kali Linux 2023.2. Set the type to Linux and then set the version to Linux 2.6 3x, 4x, 5x, 64 bits. Next, now set the base memory which is the RAM. Now you can give whatever RAM you want, but make sure you don't allocate over 40% of your RAM to your virtual machine, else it will slow down your host computer. I have 16 gigabytes of RAM on my PC. I'm gonna give this machine 5 gigabytes, and that should be okay. Same thing with the processor, I'm gonna give it three cores since. I have 8 on my PC. Next, and then set a disk size. Now this is the storage where Kali Linux will be running and this is where all our programs will be running. So it is recommended you give over 40 GB for Kali Linux to run properly but I'm gonna give it about 83 GB and that should be more than ok. Next, and then finish. Now we have to make few changes to our machine before we start the installation. So click on settings. And then under system over here, this is the base memory, the RAM which we can change whenever we want. Same with the processor over here. Now go to display and then increase the video memory to 128 megabytes. Also enable 3D acceleration and then head to storage. So under controller ID over here, you can see an empty disk. Click on the disk and then by the right click on this disk icon and then click on choose a disk file. Now navigate to your download folder and then select your Kali Linux installer file which we downloaded. Open. OK. And now we can click on start to begin the installation. So let's click on start. So we are going with graphical install so just hit enter or you can wait for the countdown if you want. Now choose the language for the installation and continue. Also set your region and location, continue. Set your keyboard format, continue. Now leave the host name as Kali or you can change it to whatever you want, continue. Leave the domain name empty, continue. Set a full name for the user. Now this is your full name. Continue. And then set a username. This is the username we're going to use to access our machine. Continue. 
choose a password and then continue now select your time zone so it can display the correct time when you finish the installation continue okay so this is when we select the disk to use for the installation so make sure guided use entire disk is selected and then continue and then this is our disk we are located 89.7 gigabytes continue and then all files in one partition make sure that's selected continue and then finish partitioning and write changes to disk and then continue write changes to disk select yes continue and it should start installing okay so this is where we select the desktop environment we want to use now by default it is set to xface but you can change to gnome or kde plasma it all depends on what you want but xface is actually a very good desktop environment so we're just going to continue with that and it should start installing now this may take about 30 minutes or less or sometimes even more it all depends on your hardware and how much resources you are located to your virtual machine so we just have to wait patiently now let's continue with yes to install grub bootloader so let's continue and then select the location it is going to show just one drive partition over here continue with that and it should finish the installation and here we go the installation is complete now it's continue to reboot so you can see kali linux has been successfully installed using the installer image now login with your username and password so basically this is how to install kali linux version 2023.2 using the installer image if this video was helpful kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notification thank you for watching and i will see you on the next one